Yo, what's up everyone? Back again. Kingdom Freddy. Fantasia Bunko. Fujimi Fantasia Bunko. Sorry, gotta get the whole name in there. Yeah, I got a booster box here for opening you guys. Along with my, uh, you know, high school DXD map for my high school DXD cards. Oh wait, I don't have one. I should probably get one. That would be nice. Oh, let's look at the rarities here. There's five SPs in here. Five Fantasia Bunko Rares, 11 Triple R's, 22 SR's, 10 Double R's, 25 Rares, and a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, what we want from here is uh, Full Metal Panic cards and High School's DXD cards. Yeah. I mean, I guess we'll take all the others too, but you know, just give me the Rias cards. All the Rias foils, please. Please and thank you. Oh yeah, Rias promo too, because that's really expensive and sold out everywhere. I hate it when they make promos good cards. Alright. Okay, cool. We got the Data Live promo. Let me find it. Here we go. Origami and Kurumi. Tempting Maids. When this card is placed on hand for stage, you can put a top card clock into the waiting room. And uh, this ability activates up to once per turn at the end of this card's attack. You may pay five, discard two. If so, stand this card. That is a hefty price for a good, a good effect. We take those. We take those. Oh, I'll move this over here closer. All right. Well, and automatically demonetized. All right. Level three. That's an uncommon. Fantastic. Level three. That's an uncommon. Fantastic. Here's a rare. This is number 80. Toka, innocent princess. But how innocent? For each of your other back row characters with Fantasia Bunko and or Elemental, this gains plus 1500 power. This ability activates up to once per turn. When you use a activate ability, this gains plus X power for the turn. X equals 500 times the number of your other Fantasia and or Elemental characters. And here's a Sukaiwari. I don't think that's what it's actually called. No, it's not. Solid Situation Panic is what it's called. I don't know what this Sukaiwadi is. Didn't win. Feels bad. Oh, is this a thing? Like last time? I think you, uh, you like mail a bunch of these and then you get put into a drawing to get a signed card of your choice from one of the voice actors of this these enemies. I think that's what it does. Yeah, yeah, because look, it has all numbered here. Number 13, Tycho DXD. Yeah. I think that's what it is. They did that with Sneaker Bunko. I'm sure they're doing it even this time. They ship internationally, too. So I could technically do it. Will I? Probably not. Because I'm lazy. Yo, Zenobia, though. Zenobia, though. Next rare. This is a rare. My eternal oath of a rival. When this card is placed from the stage, drop the two cards, then just two cards, two cards from the room, and put up to one card from the top of your library and stuff. There's a text, choose one of your characters with Fantasia Bunko and or Novel, and that character gains X power for the turn. X equals 500 times the number of your character with Fantasia Bunko and or Novel. Here's a standby. Irreplaceable student council. No point. No point. Oh, whoa. Wait. What the? Why was that in the middle of the... All right, well. I guess we got an SP. What the heck? The heck? That was like straight in the middle of the pack. Cool. I don't know who this is. I don't know this character. This is not Rias. Help. Help. Sistine. Passion for magical talent. When this card is reversed in battle, you may reveal the top three cards of your library. If at least one card was revealed this way, choose up to one character with Fantasia Bungo and or Magic Fun with them. Put it in your hand. Put the rest of the real cards in the waiting room. Choose one card in your hand. Discard it to the waiting room. This is a great SP. 
Yo, cool, dude. Oh, it has little paw prints in the back. Can you see it? You can kind of see it. Yeah, all right. Heck yes. We'll take it. Here's Koniko. And our rare. Number 26. There's a lot of effects on this one card. Latifa, First Princess of Maple Land. When your clown is placed in a clown stone, choose one of your characters. That character gets a thousand power for the turn. When you level up, put our markers into this into the waiting room. And you may rest this. Look at the top card library. Put it face down under this as a marker. Choose one of your characters. And that character gets a thousand power. No, it gets X power for the turn. X equals the number of markers under this times a thousand. So that could be a lot of power. That could be a lot of power. Oh no, this is okay. All right, I got this, guys. Ugh. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to. Okay, here we go. Steel Raid. That's what this card's called. Or Climax, I say. Just gonna, just gonna fix this right here. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. All right. I guess if you're gonna get a foe, it's randomly in the middle of the pack. Oh, cool! Yeah, I need. I want this card. Full metal panic cards are welcome. Teletha, captain of the Tuatha Demon. De -nan -nan. Yeah, let's go with that. When this card is placed on stage, from your hand, put a talker clock into it. And we're beginning a battle that's placed in a climax zone. This is your front row. And you have four more other Fantasia and or Mithril characters. Look at up to the top three cards of your opponent's library. See up to three cards from one of them. Put those cards in your waiting room. Pretend they're in the cards of your opponent's library. And your opponent shuffles that library. So you hopefully want to fish out some climaxes from the top of their library. That's the, that's the plan. That is the plan. Welcome to Amagi Brilliant Park. Ah, that's right. Amagi Brilliant Park is also in this. All right, here we go. Next pack. Whew. All right, a lot of climax combos that are uncommons. Oh, okay, double R. Yeah, they're just the the double R's and the non rares, and the good stuff is all at the middle of the pack for some reason. I'm not sure if that's intended or is that only for the sale. I don't know. Okay, Haruna, Sundere, Magic Kill Girl. Magic Keel Girl, yeah, they, they yeah, okay, yeah, Magic Keel Girl. All right, when this is placed from hand to stage, you may discard a card from hand to waiting room. If so, put a top card clock into stock. And when this attacks of daily nonsense in your climax zone, you may pay three. If so, three or four damage to your opponent. Yeah, Ross Wise, we'll take that. Here's a rare that does only one thing and one thing only. Tomonori, healthy outdoor girl. For each of their back row, Fantasia, Bunko, and or Ninja characters, this gains plus 2500 power. That should most likely not be a rare. That is a very mm. underwhelming effect. Uh, oh, here's a triple R. Okay, I was like, wait, why is the climax in the middle of the pack? Yo, nice pattern. Nice pattern. Hit the camera. Don't worry about it. Unfortunately, I'm not going to use this climax. This is all oh, this is daily nonsense for this. This is for this. This is for this. Too bad I'm not doing that combo. Oh, yes, got a Rius rare. Rius, time for reward. This ability activates once per turn. When you use an act ability, this gains the following ability for the turn. When they battle upon this becomes reversed, you may put a talker library in your stock. And then, at the start of your encore phase, you have no other rested character in the front row. You may pay one if so, rest this. Wow, I just... Oh, look, here's a regular art. Let's compare and contrast. It's exactly the same. All right. <clears throat> but I just realized this camera's a little too zoomed in. Let me try to fix it for next video. Okay, double R. What I get the feeling now that we might have missed the double R. Suzuka, thoughts of her brother. When your character 
Trigger checks reveals a climax card. Choose one of your characters. That character gets a thousand power for the turn. And to pay one, rest this. Search your library for one Fantasia Bunko and or novel out to your hand. Number 75 on this one. Rumi, a soft smile. This card is placed by the stage. You may pay one, discard a character with Fantasia Bunko and or magic from hand to win a room. If so, look at the top four cards on top of the library, chill to one card more than put it in your hand with the rest to win room. Ah, okay, it's a worse Azusa. Because you gotta pay one. Instead of just discarding a card. This is Prince's Love Story. And it's on a rare. Why do we have to pay one? I do not know. I do not know. Ooh, nice. Oh, yes. I think this is the runner. Urigami, White Winged Angel. This part has 30 points attack phase. Move this to him just on the front row. All right, great card. I love it. Give me more. Give me more. Oh, yeah. I see ya. Level 3. Wow, a lot. Koniko. A lot of three level three uncommons in this set. Here's a rare of that girl whose name is weird. EU from each festival. Ah, uh, when this goes from stage to winning room, look at the top four cards of library. Choose a two one yellow climax. Realize your opponent put in your hand, put the rest of the cards in your waiting room. If you had another card, choose one card from your hand, discard a card. Alrighty then. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to make more space after this. Ooh, yes, I'll see ya. Ooh, oh, here we go. Green double R here. Isuzu, the de deputy manager. Uh, if there are two of your climaxes in your waiting room, this gets minus one level in hand. And you have two more other characters with Fantasia Boko and or Amagi Brilliant Park. This gains a thousand power. This place around the stage will talk card library that character is Fantasia Moko or a Magi Brilliant Park. This gains a falling ability for the turn. And the battle opponent of this comes reverse and put that character in clock. Early play clock kicker. Yo, we take those. Oh nice. Nice. More high school DXD cards. Akino Ultimate Sadist. All your other characters gain the falling ability. This card cannot side attack. And at the start of your encore step, you have no other rest of characters in front row, you might pay one if so rest this. Ah, nice. Here's another rare. Kurimu, absolute god. What is the place for mana stage? I go to top carded library. Put it in the top of the library or into the waiting room. When this place for mana stage, you may pay one, put a top card of your library and clock. If so, choose a character in your waiting room. With Fantasia Bunko and a third council return to your hand. Ah, that was a great card. What a fantastic card. Ooh, this one has some good art. Good art on that one. Alright, yeah, this is the rare. Set a blood sucking ninja. Climax count when the battle opponent is going to reverse. If solid situation panics in your climax zone, put up to one card from the top of the library in stock. Read the top card library. If it's level one or higher, put it in hand. Climax cards can still level zero for this effect. So it's a uh, bunny girl union. Without the power again. Oh yeah, Rius. Good, good. Oh, nice. So we got two green double R's in this box. It looks like Kaname Jindai Municipal High School Girl. Oh, when this move to your waiting room stage, you may pay one, put a top card library and clock. If so, search the library for one, up to one cost zero or lower character with Fantasia Bunko and or Whispered, whose level is equal to or less than your level and place it on a slot on the stage rested. Shelf your library. But why? But why all those restrictions? 
Oh, yes, Rhea's rare. Rhea's red haired princess. When you're on the row, center row, front row, center slot gate to find your power. And when a climax plays in a climax zone, you pay one. If so, choose one believed in a dream together from later on and return to your hand. I believe that's an event. It's the. Yeah, it's an event. I'll try to pick it out when I come across it. Oh, here it is. Here's the event. Oh, here's a 2500 backup. Oh, I know what this does. It's just discard two cards, and then you must send one character who's higher than your opponent's level to the waiting room. I remember what that card does. I remember. You remember? I remember. Random climax from the middle of the pack. Here's a rare. It probably does very bad things to you because it only costs zero with that much power. <clears throat> Alright, I'm back. Had to get a little swig of my Uwata. Alright, what kind of name is this? Re equals L. I'm going to call it Riel. Riel, unique sorcerer. This cannot set attack. And it's because of his battle. Put this in the Barmy Library. Ah, and there it is. There's the downsides. Level 1, 600 power. That doesn't cost the stock. Yeah, that's, def that's definitely getting some downsides to it. For sure. And our last rare is this girl. Lena, genius, mage, and swordsman. Once it becomes reversed in battle, the battle of this is level 0 lower, and you may reverse that character. And this gains a thousand power in the following beautiful of the turn if you discard a climax from your hand. When the battle of this becomes reversed, you may draw a card. Just gotta discard a climax for that. Alright, that was the last pack. That was a pretty that was a pretty nice box. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. Let me round these up one second. All right, I'm back. So our promo was the Data Live ones. I hope this is a Data Live anime because that's what I've been calling the whole time. That's gonna be very embarrassing if it's not. Here are all our rares. Very nice. A double R's. We didn't get a single blue double R. We got two greens instead, which I'm kind of mad about, honestly. A yellow. And, oh no, sorry, a red. We get a red double R. We did get the blue double R. We didn't get a red double R. We got two green double R's. Which sucks because there's a Rius red double R that I need. For our foils, we got this triple R climax. That's going to be put away in a binder. Never to see the light ever. Never see the light of day ever again because I'm never going to use this. And here's an awesome SP that I'm definitely going to use. Nice. A nice. A nice. All right, thanks for joining me on this one, guys. We still have four more boxes after this, so make sure you stay tuned for when those get uploaded. But until then, peace out, guys.